Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is Apple Gatekeeper still open. If you haven't heard of Apple's Gatekeeper, it's the OS X component that basically tries to keep malware off your computer by making sure you can only install software that's gone through Apple's validation process and has been signed properly. There are ways you can turn it off to actually install software that hasn't been signed, but then you actually expose yourself to potential malware. In any case, back in October of last year, I did a video talking about how a researcher has found a way to bypass that gatekeeper functionality. Basically, he found an unnamed Apple application, which was already validated by Apple, which he could actually leverage to open another malicious application at install time. And since the legitimate application had Apple's signature, the malicious one would actually go past gatekeeper no problem. Anyways, a while back, Apple actually patched this gatekeeper flaw, or so we thought. But that researcher is back. He basically claims that Apple didn't really patch the underlying flaw. Rather, they added uh, updates to Gatekeeper to recognize the application he was actually using. So at the highest level, he found a new generic way to exploit this flaw, where the application you're installing is approved by Gatekeeper, but behind the scenes, malware is getting installed on your computer. Anyways, it's kind of an interesting story. He released this information at a recent security conference, and apparently Apple is working on a real patch for Gatekeeper. But in the meantime, there's technically a way an attacker can get past it and potentially install malware on your Mac. So what's the takeaway here? This whole idea that Macs are bulletproof and don't get Trojans or malware is just false. Apple does try hard to create security mechanisms that help protect their users, but they can be bypassed like any other operating system security mechanisms. There is malware that does infect Macs. So long story short, if you use Apple products, you do still need security controls. You might think about investing in some endpoint security for your Mac, and definitely use network security appliances to protect the Macs within your organization. Before I leave one show note, I'll be traveling the next few days to attend a show, so I may not be able to post my videos every day. I'll try my darndest, but they may not come up as regularly or at the normal time. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.